Hi, my name is Brian Higgins. I'm with SSP Innovations. This presentation's on the, the pretty much the out-of-the-box fiber manager model. Um, model hasn't really changed a great deal since uh, the inception of fiber manager, which uh, which is roughly about eight years ago. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the various feature classes and their related objects. Going up here to we're going to pretty much use the entire board. Okay, first fiber. Um, the first uh, feature class we're going to talk about is the fiber optic cable. Okay, the fiber optic cable is a linear feature class um, for the, uh, well, the cables. There is a one-to-many relationship of the fiber optic cable, which is the buffer tube. In this case, we'll go, it's called F buffer tube. Okay. Uh, once upon a time, um, all the related objects um, within the fiber manager model were, were, were prefaced with the F underscore. That way all those tables are grouped together and can be organized, migrated. Very, very handy. Then a child of a buffer tube is the fiber strand, or F underscore fiber. I'll explain why I'm going in red here in a second. So it is the fiber strands that are what's going to be conveying the light or, trans or, or conveying the signal from um, source to destination. Our second feature class that we're going to be talking about is the patch location. Okay, the patch location is pretty much where all, you know, you can consider it like the fiber building where you have, where all your, your connections are happening in your various, and we'll go through the various uh, um, related objects. The first related object we're gonna talk about is the rack. Okay, again, when I'm drawing these, are representing relationships in a one-to-many. We can have multiple racks inside the same patch location. A child of the rack is the panel. Okay, a child of the panel is the card. Uh, patch, uh, or do we just go F underscore card? Okay, the child of a card, F underscore front side port. And then we have another relationship of a card. which is F underscore backside port. Okay, the difference is cables that come from the outside of the building typically, 99% of the time, will connect to the backside port. Okay, your internal devices, um, your, your equipment will connect to the front side port. But there's also a relationship between the two various devices, uh, between the two various ports, okay, which we'll talk about. There is another object that is inside the patch location, and that is the device, F underscore device, okay. A device is where you're getting a transition between your optical signal and your analog, or something's happening to that signal. There's a relationship between the patch location, so you can put the device inside the patch location, or you can put it with inside the rack. The child of a device is F underscore device port. Device port, okay, like so. Now, we have, so this basically represents the, the, the out-of-the-box structure. In another presentation, we talked about the flexible data model. We can do variances of this type of scenario. We've added a building object. In between here, we, we've had multiple buildings 
inside the patch location, we've also added a slot object for the panel. For very, so, but there, so there's variances that you can do using the flexible data model, which is a, a nice feature of Fiber Manager. A third object, or a third, a third feature class is the device point. Okay, a device point is typically the, the customer, the end of the line. Where are we, where are we sending our, um, um, our fiber to, our telecommunications? Now, but what that does is there is a one-to-many relationship of, de of a device point, and I'm putting a star over here to that same device object. So if you kind of summarize, we can put the, 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 this F device inside a rack, we can put it inside the patch location, or we can put it inside this device point. The whole purpose of this device point feature class is we can show it on a map. Okay? So, again, using that, so the, the child of the F device is a device uh, port. Okay? Other feature classes that do not have the, um, the related objects are a splice point, okay, splice point, you want to give your splice cases where you're actually connecting um, two different fiber, two or more fiber optic cables. Other ones are slack loop, okay, a slack loop where you're actually adding cable that's bound. Um, uh, what are some others? Um, uh, there, there's others like for fiber fault and et cetera. Fiber fault. If we want to show areas where we've had issues, someone dug into the cable, whatever, we can show that in the fiber fault. Okay? Um, now, why did I show these objects in red? Okay? These are objects that are, that we can show um, will convey light or uh, using circuit. So there is another uh, table over here called F underscore circuit. Okay, so there's going to be a relationship between these items in red and this, ta and, and this table right here. So a circuit in the way that I've drawn this is a light path from source to destination. So all of these objects that I showed in red will have a relationship back to F circuit and we can manage the path through a common table. Okay? There's another, um, there's other tables that the end user is not going to interact with on a daily basis and so I typically don't even cover those in kind of training. In conclusion, I've done over 40 fiber manager implementations. And this standard model has addressed satisfactorily 90, 90 plus 90% of the implementations that I've done. So if you're looking at a model as a good place to start, I would encourage you to utilize this, this model to make sure, you know, unless you have strong um, reason to add to it, amend to it, whatever, I'd go with this model. Um, so for other topics, other fiber manager, I would encourage you to look at our blog that's online. Okay. And these are what, what give fiber manager their functionality or the GIS its functionality. If you're just looking at making a nice pretty map, stick with CAD. So, um, I'll hit stop. I would recommend sticking with this model for quick implementations of Fiber Manager plus direct um, uh, compatibility with Schneider Electric's WavePoint. Um, Go have fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take 65. You got and it. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait where, where, where are we taking this from? How are you feeling? Ready?
Yeah, I'm waiting on you. Hurry up. <laughs> I hope this was beneficial. So, um, have a nice day. Sure. I am out of here. <laughs>